Hi, I'm Vicky. Welcome back to my channel. In this video series, I'm going to show you how I'm going to embellish and make the accessories to go with a burlesque outfit for local burlesque artist Cherry Bomb. Like last year, I'm a sponsor of the Miss Burlesque Australia Canberra Heat. So I am making another costume for Jazida, which I will show you. I'm also going to film that. Um, so that will be coming soon. Um, I'm upcycling another jacket from Michael Wheatley. So if you watched oh, it was about 18 months ago, the last one, if you go back, you'll see everything I made for Miss Burlesque Australia last year. So I'm upcycling another jacket for Michael. And then I'm making this outfit for Cherry Bomb, who's going to be stage kitten for the night. So we bought bra and knickers. The bra was from Best and Less and the knickers were from bras and things. And I've made the corset. So I didn't film a tutorial for the corset, but there will be one coming soon. I'm actually working on developing this corset pattern at the minute, and it's going to be available for digital download once I'm happy with it. So at the minute, I'm still kind of testing it. So Cherry Bomb has been one of my guinea pigs to test it on, um, and I've made a version of it for her to try and made a version of it to test doing it with a zip in the front as well. I've also made versions with busks in the front just to test the pattern and the sizing and I'm getting there I've just got a couple of little tweaks I want to make and then I can send it off to the digitizers and get it ready for you guys to buy on my website and then once that's ready at that point I'll make a corset tutorial and I won't do it in black because I know black's really hard to see on video so once that's done I will make an underbust corset tutorial and show you different ways of how I make corsets, how to do zip fronts, how to do busk fronts. Yeah, so still maybe a month off, but yeah, I'm working hard to get it ready. So my plan for Cherry Bomb's costume, um, she's stage kitten, so we need to take into account what she needs to do on the night. She needs to be able to run up and down stairs, on and off the stage, pick up the performer's clothing after their act. So we had to create something that looked good, but was also practical so she could do what she needed to do. So this is our base that I can now embellish. So the plan is to start it at black at the waist. I'm going to add red lace at the top and the bottom, do black crystals at the waist, and they're going to ombre into dark red and then bright red and then red AB. And then the bra and the knickers are going to go in reverse. So I'm going to put red lace at the bottom of the bra and the top of the knickers, and they'll go from red AB up back to black at the top and at the bottom. And then to go with it, I'm going to make a chiffon skirt that's going to be split at the front with some ruffles at the bottom. So it will look really pretty, it will move really nicely, but with the split at the front, Cherry Bomb will still be able to move and go up and down stairs in it without worrying about tripping over it or getting caught in her shoes or anything like that. It's going to be ankle length all the way around, there won't be a train, so again, keeping it practical so she can do what she needs to do. But it's going to be very full and very swirly and very ruffly, so it will still look and move really nicely. So my plan is in this video, I'm going to show you how I do the lace and crystal embellishments. And then in the next video, I'll show you how I make the skirt. And then I'm thinking I might also make a lace and crystal choker to go with it. So once I've got the embellishments and the skirt done, then I'll decide exactly what I want to do for the necklace. The only job I haven't done for the construction of the corset is to put the eyelets in because I want to put the lace on and then put the eyelets through so they go through the lace. Otherwise I'll have to hand sew the lace around each eyelet, which is a bit of a pain. So this way it makes it a little bit quicker. And then I need to make the panel to go underneath the lacing as well. To embellish the corset bra and knickers, I've got this red lace, which is a piece of red lace that I dyed ages ago. It was the one I used on my Alexander McQueen inspired upcycled dress a couple of years back, if you remember that one. And then I've also got crystals in four colours. I've got other sizes of these as well. So I've got black, um, red, or cyan, light cyan, and then red AB as well. So they're the same light red, but they've got the lovely rainbow coating on. So that's the order I'm going to do them in. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut the lace and pin it on where I want it to go. Now, instead of doing it a sort of even width all the way around, I want it to finish an even width away from the waist because that's how the colour's going to fade. So I think the first thing I need to do is just use a line of pins to mark my waist and then mark up and down from there where I want the lace to start and then I can cut it and put it on where I want it to go. So using pins I've marked about where the waist is and then I've marked an inch and a quarter either side and that's where I want the lace to stop. 
So originally I thought I wanted the scallops to finish at the edge of the corset, but now I'm thinking it might look nice if they finish coming into the middle. And then I'm going to do the same here as well. Then on the bra I can do the scallops coming up the cup. So when it's sat together with the corset, the lace, you've got the scallops coming down the corset and up there. And then from here onto the knickers as well. Awesome, I'm going to get all that cut and pinned on and I'll show you how it looks. So here's how it's looking with everything pinned on roughly. So I've got the lace on the top of the bottom of the corset with the scallops facing inwards and then the bra with the lace fading up and then knickers with the scallops going down that way. So you can see how we're going to go from black into red and then into black again when it's all on. And I'm really happy with how this is looking. So let me just show you a couple of things I've done that you need to take into account as you're pinning. So the knickers need to stretch so I've kind of pinned it really loose and you can see that when the elastic stretches that's going to sit where it needs to. So when I sew it on I'm going to sew it on stretched so it's going to look a bit funny and wrinkly <laughs> when it's not stretched but as soon as they're on that lace is going to sit really nicely because the lace isn't stretchy. So that's the best way I've found to sew non-stretchy lace onto a stretchy garment or a stretchy part of a garment. With the bra, what I'm going to have to do, so I've pinned where I want the scallops to be, but I'm just going to have to do some slight gathers under the cup to make it sit nicely. Especially at the side there, and in fact at the side I'll probably cut away some of the fabric and at the edge of the pattern and overlap it so that it sits really neatly. And then at the bottom of the bra and the edges of the corset, I've left enough lace that I can turn it to the inside, turn my raw edges under and do a stitch along there. And that's gonna give us a neat finish on the inside as well as the outside. With the corset, because it's wider at the bottom and the top than it is at the waist where the scallops are pinned, what I've done is I've pinned it to that measurement. So you can see it's pinned tight across the hip which means the scallops are just that little bit loose up here. And what I'll do is I'll just cut down that bit of pattern there and overlap it as I sew it, and that'll get this sitting really neatly, but it'll still look like one continuous piece of lace. And um, at the back, again, the same, I'm gonna do a double fold and just stitch that to the inside. At the center front, I'm gonna have to just fold it and see the double fold of the lace down the center front and I'll just hand stitch it as close to the zip as I can. So now I'm happy with how this is all looking. I'm gonna just double check that everything is symmetrical and then I'm just gonna use this red thread to hand stitch everything into place. As I'm stitching, I'm gonna be really careful to make sure my stitches don't show on the inside. I'll show you what I meant by cutting and overlapping to get this part to sit flat over the hip. So you can see where I've got it now to get it the right width here. We've got too much fabric here. So all I've done is I've cut around the pattern here. And if I now kind of curve the corset with my hand and pull that sideways and pin it, just overlapping the lace at this point, can see how that now sits smoothly but once it's stitched it'll still look more or less like a continuous piece of lace. So again we've got too much here so I'm going to cut down the outside of this pattern here bend the corset as if it's got a hip inside it and then pull it tight. Now, yours will vary depending on the pattern of your lace, but most laces that are on a tulle backing like this, you can cut them and overlap them to get them to sit, sit neatly around curves. Again, there's that one. Might just have to cut that bit there as well. Let's do that. And then I can just tuck this loose bit in. Oh, missed a bit. 
and just tuck that in underneath that petal of the rose there. And then we've got this nice and neat finish but going around the complex curve of the hip. So I've now got all of the lace sewn into place. So you can see on the knickers I've stretched it as I was sewing it on so it's still stretchy. So yeah, it looks a bit wrinkly when it's like that, it's a bit gathered up. But when it's pulled tight and being worn it's going to be fine. And again I just finished it with a double turn on the inside. And you can just see the red stitching on there but I'm not worried about that because there's nowhere to hide it like there is on the corset. Then we've got the finished corset and I've put the eyelets in the back as well. So because I was making the corset I left the eyelets out until now so that they went through the lace. But if you're embellishing a corset that you've already got, you can just carefully cut your lace and just put a few little hand stitches around the eyelets to get the same effect. And that's the bra. So I've just hand stitched along the bottom of the cups just to get that nice shape so it sits flat against this part of the bra and then curves up over the cup. And I just gathered it, you can barely see it, but I've just gathered it really slightly there just to get that nice curve. And I've caught it down in the middle as well so it's nice and flat against that centre part. So you can get an idea of how it's all going to start to look together. Um, so next up I'm going to do my crystals. So the idea, as I said earlier, is to do black on the black and then on the lace it's going to go from dark red to the light red to the AB going up and down the corset and then the same going up and down the knickers and the bra. So the knickers and bra will start with the ABs here and then go to black on the black bits. So the black crystals are the first thing I'm going to do. As usual these days I'm going to be putting the crystals on with E6000 Fabrifuse and my little wax pencil. Excuse my horrible plaster there. I cut myself with some very sharp scissors yesterday and didn't want to bleed on anything. And please don't make comments about my nails or not having a manicure. I sew for a living. People who make comments about my hands really annoy me and I just delete the comments and block them. So keep your thoughts to yourselves. I'm going to use two sizes of black crystal I think. So I'm going to start by putting the larger ones in and then I'm going to go back through and fill in the gaps with the smaller crystals. I want it to look yeah, encrusted but not completely covered so there will be gaps between them. I always start by just testing that my Fabrifuse is going to come out so I don't get a blip on my corset where I don't want it. And then I'm just going to start by putting a series of dots where I want these larger crystals to go, sort of keeping them fairly evenly spaced but also a little bit random. Probably enough, it's quite warm in the studio today so I don't want it to dry before I get the crystals on. And then I can use my wax pencil to pick each crystal up and put it in the little dot of glue. Once I've done the bigger ones, I can then go back through and do some of the smaller ones to fill in the gaps. So here's how it looks close up. So you can see it's sort of, yeah, sort of evenly uneven, I guess. I don't want it to be in rows or anything like that. And that's going to give us a really good sparkle. So I'm going to carry on and do this over all of the black of the corset and the bra and the knickers. Here's how it's all looking with just the black crystals on so far. And you can see how sparkly they are. So I've done all across the waist, all across the bra, and across the brass strap at the back, which doesn't stop it being stretchy. And then I've done it all around the knickers as well. So that's the front and I've got some on the lace at the back. So even though we're going to have the chiffon skirt over it, you're still going to see the sparkle coming through the chiffon. So the next colour I'm going to work with is the red AB crystals. And I've got them in two sizes. So that's SS16 and the next size up. I forget what all the sizes are, but 
I'll put links in the description to where I buy my crystals so you can go and get some of your own. So I just want these at the very edges of the corset, the top of the knickers and the bottom of the bra. So probably about an inch. So I'm just going to mark all the way along the top and bottom of everything where I want them with pins. And then I'll probably do a sort of fairly solid line of them at half inch and then fade them to the one inch. And then that's where I'll start my light red crystals from. So that's the look I'm going for, and you can see how sparkly the ABs are. So you can see once I take the pin out, that's how it looks. And then I can start the light red from in between where these are, so they kind of fade together. So I'm going to do this around both edges of the corset, the bottom of the bra and the top of the knickers. So this is where we're up to with all the AB crystals on. They're so sparkly, they look so beautiful. So next, um, I was planning to do dark red crystals at the top of the lace and then a scattering of the light red crystals. But I'm now wondering if the dark red crystals are gonna to be too dark. Let me zoom in. So I'm just gonna lay some on here and see. So this is the dark red. And I think maybe they're just a little bit too dark compared to the lace. I don't want to detract from the pattern of the lace too much. And that's the light red, see they blend in a lot nicer. Yeah, I think the dark red's going to be too dark. So I'm not going to use those after all. So I'm just going to use these lighter red ones that match the lace. So I'm just going to do a scattering of those across all of the red lace. And then that will be my crystals finished. Here is Cherry Bomb's outfit with all of the crystals on. You see, if I can move it, see how sparkly it all is. See it in the mirror as I twist it, just how much sparkle there is on this outfit. Cherry Bomb has been and tried it on and the fit was absolutely fine. It all sat really well together. There's just a couple of minor things I'm gonna change. We're just gonna add some more of the small AB crystals through the lace. Just felt that that stopped a bit too low so it just needs that AB coming a little bit further into the red lace and the other thing I need to do is just put a little bit of red lace on the panel at the back here just to continue the red in underneath the lacing there just really minor things but other than that this is all done so that's it for part one of making cherry bombs outfit in the next part I'm going to show you how I make the ruffled chiffon skirt to go with it if you enjoy my videos and tutorials, please consider supporting me over on Patreon. It really helps me to keep making videos and tutorials for you. And thank you to everyone who has already signed up. Um, I've got lots more content to share with you. And remember, you get to see my videos first ad-free. Plus, $10 and up patrons get access to the weekly vlogs, which I've bought back, but for patrons only. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next part.